Hey guys, welcome to another video in the Python programming tool for beginners. We're pretty much done with the basic stuff in Python, but I really wanted to show you how to like find and read documentation for coding. So if you have some kind of problem or you run into an error in your code, like how can you look it up on Google and how to find a solution for, for your problem. I'll show you I'll show you how to like do it and how I, I read up documentation if I have some kind of problems or errors. So let's jump into the Jupyter Notebook and I'll give you some examples. So we're now back in the Jupyter Notebook and in this video we're talking about like how to find a solution to a problem or if you run into some kind of errors in our code or if we're trying to install packages and use them and we don't know like how to how to get started with them or if there's some functions we don't know like how we can find and read up documentation for that specific package in the first example here i'm going to show you like how to find a solution to a problem where the problem is um, to do a quick sort on a list in python so in cases where we want to look up for a solution like it's if, if we want a fast solution or we haven't worked with something before then we can just like google a solution and try to to figure it out from there so in this case i'm trying to find a solution in google to quick sort list and, and python so we just hit here and we go to google and then we can just search for how to do quick sort in, in python and then it will get some some different kind of um results here where like the most the most used site for for programming is the stack overflow site so we'll be looking for that one um, in the first in the first uh, in the first try and if it doesn't it provide a solution like we just keep on looking on other sites like for example geek for geek and stuff like that so in this case i'm just choosing stack overflow because it's the most used site for for programmers and when we come into the to, to the question here like some some guy has has posted a question here so he got a problem with doing quiz sort on, on a list. So he just says, I'm, I'm totally new to Pro Python and I'm trying to implement quick sort in it. Could someone please help me complete my code? And then you know, like he tried to implement the, um, the quick sort here and it doesn't, it doesn't really like work out. So then people can answer to, to that question he asks and give some kind of solutions or hints to um, how to like come up with a solution. So in this case, we're looking for for the answer to the question, which just is marked with the green symbol here. So in this case, this question is answered, and some guy here provided a solution uh, to the question. So if we just want to find a fast and uh, or a quick um, solution to a problem, or we we haven't worked with it before, like we can just go in here and copy paste it. And we know that it, it is a pretty pretty decent code because it has 250 upvotes here on Stack Overflow, which is which is pretty much and. So we are comfortable that this is a good solution to our problem and we had the same problem at this guy up here So we just copy paste the solution and we can go back to the to the Jupyter notebook here and paste it So in this case, I'll just take this array outside And call it array in here and then just Take it outside here. So this is an unordered list So we have 12 4 5 and we want to order it in so we have the least number for uh, first and then the, like the biggest number in, uh, in the end and then we return the array here down in the function. So we have to like uh, have a, um, a variable here called sort, sort array, and then we set it equal to the function, which is called sort. And then we parse the, uh, the argument array up here, which is the unordered array. So, and then we want to print it out. We want to print the result out when we have sorted the list. So in this case, if we have shift enter, we will print out the list that is that is sorted by the quick sort algorithm. So. This was a fast and easy way to like look up um, a solution on Google and just like find a fast solution and also reliable and decent solution and then just then just use it what you find on, on, on Google. So yeah, that, that's how to find a solution and you can also like find other solutions or if you have other problems like just Google it and you will probably see an, an answer to the question. So in the second example here, I want to show you how to find and use documentation for a specific package. In later videos, we're going to use uh, the Open Computer Vision uh, package where we want to do some uh, face detection and stuff like that. So we want to like use and uh, use the documentation if we haven't worked with the package for a while or we just don't know the functions that the package contains. And to find the documentation, we just go to Google and search for the, uh, the documentation we want to find. So in this case, we want to find the OpenCV documentation for, for Python. And then we get different kind of results in here in, in Google where we want to choose the first one in, in this case because it's the um, official OpenCV documentation for Python. 
And then we get different kind of options we can choose from if we want to do, for example, image processing in OpenCV or machine learning and stuff like that. In this case, we're just doing the simple stuff with the GUI features here, where we want to like get started with uh, videos. And then we can see like we get um, a site here where we can see like different different code examples of how to set it up, and we get a a description of how how it works and how to set it up and stuff like that. So in this case, in the, in this uh, tutorial or in in this like documentation, um, it shows how to get video capture from from the camera or if you have connected a webcam. And then it gives us a little um, description here of how it works, and then the code example uh, here, like how to set it up, like I showed in earlier videos, and then we can just copy paste it and use it in our um, Jupyter notebook here. And then we have just set it up, and we can use the different kind of methods and stuff like that in on our on our camera. So in this case, we just say that the capture is equal to some function that in from the OpenCV library that is called video capture. So this will be the first. A webcam that is that is connected to the to the computer and if it can't open like it, ju it just prints out it cannot open the camera in case it is not connected correctly or it's somehow corrupted and then while while it's true it just like it just takes the frame from the from the um, like it just kept the captures frame by frame as it says here in the in the comment so from when you take like code examples from the from the official website and stuff like that, like there's there's always good uh, comments in the code as well. So it's easy to just take take this take the setup and just copy paste it into your code and just try to go through it and and figure out how it works. And then you can like just uh, modify it and just like do whatever you want and on that code afterwards. Um, so in this case, we just read in the, the frame here and then we can do whatever we want in the frame. For example, object detection and stuff like that. So this is like how to find and use the documentation for um, a specific package. Like we can we can also have like documentation for this the standard library and stuff like that, which I showed in in earlier videos. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it for for this example where um, we're going to use this a lot more. And like every time we have to use a package or stuff like that, we're like we almost have to open up the documentation and see what kind of functions or just methods that 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 the package contains. So yeah, it's a really it's a really nice and cool feature, and it really helps you a lot in programming instead of just sitting for for several hours and don't know how to like set up and set up this where how to open up the video uh, video capture and how to get the frame and convert the color and stuff like that. Then we can just look up the documentation and copy paste it, and we're we're set to go. We're set to go, and we can do what we want to do instead of just doing the the, the basic stuff and stuff that needs to be done anyway. So the last example here is to how to fix um, errors in your code. For example, if you run your code and you get an error, you can either be like a typo or you miss some parameters in a function and stuff like that. Like you can just copy you copy paste um, the error message and then just Google it. And in this case, just to find just to give you like a, a quick error here, we just take this code up here and copy paste it again. And in this case, uh, we're we're returning the sorted list down here, but. If we don't parse a parameter through sorted list here, for, uh, through for sorted parameter here, and we hit sh uh, shift enter, we'll get the type error here. So it says that sort missing one required uh, positional argument, and it needs an array. Like in this case, it shows us what the error is and how to fix it. Like we need to parse an array to it. But like if, if it didn't get uh, give us um, any clue or hint to to like what the error could be, like then we can just copy paste it and go to Google and search for it. In this case, we're just taking like we know it's the sort um, function that it gives an, an, an error. So we just go in here and say sort function Python, and we just take the first uh, first um, first one here, and then we can see like it takes um, the sorted um, the sorted um, function. It takes a key which is the the list here. So we know that the sort function takes a, a list, and if we go back to our code, we can see that right now it doesn't take a list. So yeah that's probably the error here so and we know that we need to parse an array so in this case we just type in the list because it less is the is the array it needs here to to to, to run the sort um, sort function here and if we shift into now like there's no error left and we get the same result out as before so this is how to fix errors in your code and it's hard to come up with with errors in your own code um just like just like that but like if you get an error you can just 
copy paste the error message and just Google it and look for Stack Overflow and look at the post where which, which has the most upward uh, upvotes and, and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We have been over like how to find and use documentation for different kind of packages and how to fix your errors in code and find solutions to to to, 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 to like a problem you have. And it all comes down to like just Google it and try to look it up on Google and try to find like other solutions or documentation from the official sites and stuff like that for your packages. And then just like get the base down and get it set up and then you can do your your stuff and all like the basic and default stuff from the from the packages. So yeah, that it's a very important um, important thing to know and also like just to get better at it. like the better you are at finding documentation and looking up like packages, then you don't know to like know all the functions that a package contains stuff like that. You can just look it up and you just have like uh, your brain stored somewhere else. So yeah, thank you for watching this video guys and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video and also make sure to like the video so you can help the YouTube algorithm know that you want more of this content and that you like it. So I'll see you in the next one guys and make sure to also watch the next video which will come up here right now. See you in the next one, bye.